Uh, Congresswoman, it's great to see you this weekend. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Maria, as always. So what's going on in terms of the DOJ? We are hearing increasing stories that Merrick Garland, the AG, perhaps got in the way of the U.S. attorney's investigation. David Weiss says that he was stopped at every turn trying to do the investigative steps necessary in investigating tax crimes of Hunter Biden. Right. And it's very clear here that somebody is lying. And I trust these whistleblowers far more than I trust the Attorney General Merrick Garland. And what we ought to be doing is subpoenaing everybody, every single document, every uh, deposition, especially Hunter Biden's yesterday, anything that there is, because what we have learned is that the DOJ has been complicit and has been covering up this investigation. We heard from the IRS whistleblower this week. And what I want to do is I want to call Merrick Garland, the attorney general. I want to have him to Congress under oath and ask him if he ordered the code red, because the more that we learn about this, the worse it gets. And I think this is going to go down as one of the most corrupt presidents, most corrupt administrations in U.S. history. And I can't express how angry I am, Maria. The more that I learn about this, the far worse it gets. And the fact that they were blocking this investigation of corruption and money laundering, uh, you know, literally the Biden family sold our country out. It's unbelievable and it's obscene and every American should be angry about this. Well, your committee, the House Oversight Committee, has uncovered a whole host of evidence. And the chairman, James Comer, told me last week that he thinks it could be upwards of $40 million that you can identify of money taken in by the Biden family. How long has this been going on? And what can you tell us about your investigation right now into the influence peddling? Well, our investigation will get to the bottom of it. I'll tell you, some of the suspicious activity reports that we've seen, I saw one alone that was over $40 million. Now, that was split between multiple people, not just the Bidens and their family members. But when we talk about, you know, the $18 million that the IRS whistleblower brought up this week, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I think this could go far. It's going to go far north of that. I think it go, could go further than $50 million I mean, dollars that we're talking about. But we, as the Oversight Committee, have to win the court of public opinion by showing the overwhelming amount of evidence that I believe our committee is going to receive. So we are using firms in foreign countries to get bank records overseas. We have to be able to connect the dots, show the evidence, because as you just saw on the screen you, pr you provided, Maria, uh, America doesn't trust Congress. So what I want to see us do is provide the evidence and let the American people decide for themselves just how corrupt this president and his administration and his family have really been. Well, look, Dr. Jill Biden has been pushing him to run in 2024. Maybe she doesn't want the gravy train to stop. Can you walk us through the most important and most damning evidence that you say you have? I know you've got bank records, you've got these suspicious activity reports and the whistleblower testimony. Walk us through what's most damning in your view. Well, the 1023 forms so far have been the most damning, and if we could get them unredacted, we'd have everything that we would need to connect the dots. But unfortunately, the FBI has been stonewalling our investigation. Thank God that we have Congressman Comer and Senator Grassley. Grassley seems to know where all the bodies are buried, and we get information from their research and from whistleblowers that are coming forward. I would encourage every whistleblower, everyone who has information, to come to our committees. But the bank records are going to be key because we're not allowed to share the suspicious activity reports. The 1023 forms that are unclassified are also going to be very important because they corroborate information in texts and emails and WhatsApp messages that Hunter Biden had on his laptop. None of, it, of this is a conspiracy theory. Maria, you know that I call the balls and strikes right down the middle, and this is going to go down as one of the most explosive stories of corruption in United States history when we're done with this investigation. But do you think you'll get to the bottom of it? I mean, let's face it. Comer told us that there's we like 20 to. shell companies. Yeah, but there are 20 shell companies. How are you going to follow the money? They made it real complex, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And in the first 10, 1023 form from the FBI, the Ukrainians were bragging about how it would take the U.S. government 
10 years to follow the money and figure out where the money came from and where it finally ended up through the different shell companies. But thank goodness we have good witnesses and whistleblowers from the IRS who've done some of that investigation, who've done some of that work until they were blocked by what it sounds like to be Merrick Garland, who's going to be key to all of this. We have to get him under oath. We have to get him before Congress, and we have to get the truth. We don't have a lot of time, Maria. It's going to take a lot of money and resources, and we've got to work fast. Well, have you gotten a response from any of these people? You want their depositions? It's still very early. We don't have a response yet, to my knowledge. And if they don't show up, Maria, if they don't provide the documentation, then they will. we will need to hold them in contempt of Congress. That is absolutely the threat to me that's on the table and was something we ought to use because we have to get to the bottom of this. We have to get to the truth because Merrick Garland clearly was part of the cover-up. And if he will not do his job, then we have a duty to do it for him. And that's what we're going to do on oversight. All right, Congresswoman, we're going to be watching your work. Thanks very much for being here this weekend. Thank you, Maria, as always, and happy 4th of July to everyone. And to you. Happy Independence Weekend. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.